What's good, YouTube land? Who are reflected here, uh, sticking with Megatrons and moving all the way to the Bay Verse. We have this Dark of the Moon Voyager class Megatron here in his vehicle mode. And it, it is a rare thing to have a Megatron in a truck mode. I think this is really the only one. Because if he's not a tank, he's like a space whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. If he's not a gun, he's a tank. If he's not a tank, he's like a space whatever. But here we have a regular style oil tanker truck. And that's pretty cool. And it's got a tarp on. So give you a good shot of the front wheel. Obviously, oh, it's Mac. It's a Mac truck. Hmm. But we've got, is it on this side? No. Nope. He's only got one Decepticon symbol, and it's right there on the cam. Unfortunately, you can just look at this thing, and it does look like a transformer with all the panel lines everywhere. <laughs> Ooh, that's moving a bit closer. But I, I like the uh, the freaking odd size windows. That's a giggle. Like one indent and one freaking just bulging out there. Uh, not really feeling the color scheme though. This weird sort of gray with more gray and I don't know. I don't even know if it's movie accurate. I barely remember Dark of the Moon at all. Like, I remember the first movie because I actually watched it, like, paid attention. But, like, the other two, I think in, like, a tech class at the end of the year, in, like, that year of high school, we just went and watched both Revenge of the Fallen and Dark of the Moon. Like, I remember elements of it. Like, I remember the, uh, freaking, the, the human... The con sympathizer played by uh, the the guy from the hospital show. I freaking I don't remember their, any of their names. Then. And of course, just do it. That guy, Shia LaBeouf, but McDreamy, I think. I remember, but uh, he's a. Uh, but back on track to Megatron, he is a very nice truck. He's a, I mean, he's I'm trying to count the tires. He's he's got ten wheels. They all roll pretty well. He's also got two fake wheels, right up here, in his oil tanker section. And I have to kind of take off the tarp to show it to you. But if you look at the bottom, there's very obviously bits of a robot, but. This thing transforms just enough to where I'm willing to forgive it because the robot, it does some really smart things in the legs to uh, transform them into actual legs. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, for gimmicks, he's got the tarp. He's also got a weapon port up here. And he's got a weird, he's got a self-concealing weapon port right there. And apparently he's a fan of the three mil clip system because he's got one at this point on each side and the smokestacks. And apparently there are more. I just don't really see them. But it does have little sculpted ladders right there to try and to try and bring back some of that real world, the realism, so to speak. Anything else? Uh, I'll talk about the weapon thing in robot mode. But... Actually, no. Because in Dark of the Moon, he had a pretty awesome shotgun. And unfortunately, the toy doesn't come with it. Because it comes with the stupid mech tag weapon. But, if you happen to get a version of this guy, uh, Evasion Mode Optimus Prime. This happens to be the two-pack with the classic Optimus Prime. You got this shotgun or a version of this shotgun which this optimus never used i believe i mean i think he shot 
Sentinel Prime with it at the end after after Megatron died. Speaking of, <laughs> I actually have that asshole right over here. Not in Voyager scale, but this asshole. Um, it doesn't want to work. Are the batteries dead? I think the, the batteries might be dead. But he just says, I am Sentinel Prime. I did a review of this guy, how many of, however many years ago. Yeah, okay. But the thing I'm getting to you is this shotgun is designed for this toy. So you can plug it, say, up there. And get that awful squeaky sound. Or peg it in there. Or plug it in right there. It's always going to look awkward. Oh, and fire it into my hand. Or plug it in. I kind of understand why they didn't go with this. For the toy because it's mm, ugh, doesn't look it but uh let's get down to transforming and to do that we're gonna have to parts form the gun oh no parts forming worst toy ever okay, oh my god why does everybody hate parts forming i don't get it so to start we're gonna work on the legs so we can take this side piece fold it up and you're done with it Take this, and you're going to want to basically, well, actually, you want to take the oil tanker and fold it down so it's in that position, and then fold the foot up so it's right there, and then make sure it looks like that, rotate the thigh, and you have one leg. Now, see, that's what I mean by, like, it really does a good job of incorporating and like making it look like a completely different piece. So let's do the same thing on the other side. Straight in. Fold. Close that up. Rotate. There you have two thighs. Or shins. And then you're going to want to unpeg these clips on either side fold them down and you can uh, fold down the hips and flip up his crotch plate and you're in light central oh i didn't actually mention but there's a bit of uh in vehicle mode it's like let's let's go right back actually <laughs> i completely forgot about this But I'm going to go only that far to show that there's actually a bit of uh, a turning axis. Lock you back in, please. So, like, there's a bit of... Yeah. Basically, there's a bit of that. You can go like that. In, ve in vehicle mode. I guess if he if he had a trailer, I mean he's an oil tanker. He doesn't really need to swivel like that. But mm, realism, I don't know. I don't know. I do know it's a feature, but I don't. Uh, let's deal with these. It's going to be awkward to have this perspective, but you just fold out the arm. You can flip out the hands now. If you want my biggest issue with this toy comes in the grill section and like transforming this bit because you like it's in three pieces the the black part this part and then the piece under it and it's a pain in the ass to try and separate it all like <clears throat> without pop without just popping these off so for the sake of this i'm just gonna pop them off they're gonna sit right there so 
fold it, fold this piece down. You can, can you? Un, yeah. Unpeg the shoulders, fold this all the way down, and at this point you can uh, actually fold that backwards and rotate the waist. Take the shoulder, swivel the bicep. It's, oh, right. You can't. Not yet, anyway, because you have to fold that piece up and then reattach the truck bumper. Yes. And then rotate the truck bumper so it actually hook tabs back in right. I believe. Yes, like that. And then you can rotate the bicep out like so. The other side, do the same thing. Swivel, rotate, so it's all in place. Now I'm gonna fold the backpack, fold this section, so it reveals its head. You can close the backpack back up. Double hinge this so it ends up looking like that. And then you can spread the bumper so it's kind of looking like that. Fold up his head, do whatever you want. And that is your basic, I mean, not your basic, but your uh, robot mode finished for Dark of the Moon Megatron. Ah! Yeah. His thigh can go, whoa. And yeah. I mean, this is definitely head, he, hands down, uh, the least bad of the Megatron designs pre uh, Age of Extinction, because the Age of, Age of Extinction Galvatron is actually pretty cool. But. This is the best of the three Megatron designs. It definitely does the best with its alt mode. Like, you can look at that. There's very little kibble. Like, you got some... You, I don't know. I barely call that kibble. And you have a small back plate that is the cab of the top of the cab of his truck with his smokestacks. It's like, he doesn't look... Really, like he turns into a truck. Like, sure, he has a truck bumper, that, but that's really the only giveaway, in my opinion. At least looking. Oh, uh, that and the wheels, maybe. The wheels might be a giveaway, but you also fold down the back ones for reasons. Yeah. Uh, face, it's too small. It's like, it's just too small, but he does have very nice uh, wind piping. His entire eye is, because uh, he got shot in the face, I believe, in Revenge of the Fallen. So they're carrying that over to Dark of the Moon with the whole bigger eye, like he got blasted right in the eye. Is it just me, or do his, uh, his chest plate, his chest piece right there under the bumper, it kind of looks like teeth. All small and... Yeah. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Uh, unfortunately, he's got an issue with things not tabbing in. Like, this section doesn't tab. The back panel doesn't tab in anywhere. Although those are just the two biggest issues. They are still issues. Um, Articulation-wise, shoulder, nice range of motion. Uh, if, you don't, if you don't mind unpegging this constantly. But I think it's just a universal joint. Yeah, there's no, there's no ball joint, but you get that much range up. Full 360 degree swivel. You do get a bicep swivel that goes to there 
or all the way like that. He's got twin hinged on the knee, on, on his knee. No, no, he doesn't, but he does have that on his elbow, which his arms do look a little lanky, like a little disproportionately long, but it just, it's unfortunately the nature of the transformation. And plus, I like the double jointed elbow. It gives them that much bend. Uh, there is a hinge on the wrist, but it's more transformation joint. And those fingers, though, they kind of look like sticks off, like that. The work, the uh, that tree out in the backyard that gives you nightmares. They kind of look like that. They're just all thin and uh, and they are a soft-ish plastic, so you can bend them to your uh, creepy heart's desire. I don't know. Oh, his head is also on a ball joint, and I believe his neck is on a hinge as well, but it's kind of locked by the transformation. But he can look all the way up. He can look down at himself and be like, what have I become? What even am I anymore? Uh, he does have the full exorcist swivel, although it's a bit awkward with the ball on the stem. And he has negligible side to side. He has negligible this motion, but. Hmm. Waste free uh, 360 degree motion hips. Really can try, but they're not going to go. Mm, oh, there they go. Fine. Going to go past there. Outward, you got that much. You can go. Eh. And then, eh. Uh, it doesn't have a thigh swivel, but. He does have, well, actually, you can't really use his posability because it's locked in, but he can kind of, no, he can't. He does have a knee swivel, though, and beyond 90 degree knee bend, which is nice because that's not, that's not for the transformation, that's just for the robot mode. He can do, he, he really... I wish he could do tiger knee, but that's about the best you're going to get for looking knee. And the foot, there's nothing. You've got a transformation joint to go down, but other than that, there's nothing. Um, overall, robot mode, again, my biggest issue is the colors. Like, this off, weird shade of brown next to gray. It's like... Is it movie accurate? I don't know. Do I like it? I don't really think so. I kind of want to get the studio one, the uh, the leader Dark of the Moon Megatron, just for a kind of morbid comparison of like, this was the engineering back in Dark of the Moon, and it doesn't compare well to the engineering of today. Or, yeah, I think the... I think that Dark of the Moon came out 2019, the studio one. Yeah. But, so we have to talk about this thing. It does have a secondary piece to give it robot mode sort. And it does have a little bit of detail, like all the chains and tatters. But, it's, I mean, it's cool. It's not something you see very often in Transformers. And to put it on, you kind of just tab it into a slot right there. And it's made of soft, squishy, bendable plastic. So, it's like... And then you have to futz it to get over the shoulder pad. But once you do, it does give him a distinct look. And, like, sure, it mucks up all of his arm posability. But I think it, it gives him a cool look. And, again, it's something rarely seen on a Transformer. Uh, but... Now we have to get to this thing, which 
is the vaunted mech tech sy system of spring loaded guns that don't stay locked in their transform state. And according to Canon, that's supposed to be the fusion cannon. But actually, this one does stay in place. So if you press it and then rotate the ladder slightly, that's on the back, that little ladder there, it does actually stay in place. And it's designed to go on his iconic, like, where it goes on every Megatron on the right arm. But did he actually use this in the movie? Or did he just use his shotgun? Which, there is a slot in the hand and a tab on this handle. And if you, you can wedge it in there like that, you he finally gets to wield his awesome, wicked, totally cool buckshot. And he can shoot Sentinel Prime through the head. It's nice that this guy actually finally got a leader class toy. But as for right now, do I recommend the Voyager one? Mm. I paid 10 bucks for it. So I think it's worth $10. But. Uh. I'm going to say, uh, I do like his tasty um, metal sheen on his gigantic thighs and his really tiny but really well-sculpted <laughs> waist. That's kind of cool. It's, it's a hard, it's a hard toy to recommend. If you somehow like the movie designs, then check out the Studio Series one, because theoretically that's going to be a lot more accurate to what he looked like than this guy. But, I mean, if you're a big fan of Megatron, he might be worth checking out. Eh, I got him for 10 bucks. I don't regret my purchase that much. His, his transformation, though, is is the main highlight and it's the the thing that makes him fun because like this robot mode is unfortunately limited and the vehicle mode is definitely cool but it's like the transformation is the big selling point as, as if it's a transformer or something oh and funny enough this is i'm gonna be amused by there you can store his shotgun on his back while he has to unfortunately wield a Round the the can the uh, confusion cannon. That actually does look pretty cool. So, so uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and hopefully we won't be talking about the movies anytime soon. But uh, until next time, keep it weird. Bye.